If you have a saloon or any barber shop and want to take your business online, just keep watching this video because in this video I'm going to show you guys how you can create an appointment booking website for your barber shop or any kind of service that you provide in your saloon. So before we build this website, let's take a look at what kind of website that we are going to build in this video. All right guys, so this is the masterpiece and this is the website that we are going to create in this video. This is going to be home page of your website. So as you know, first impression is the last impression. When people visit your site, they will see this kind of website. If we take a look at the header section, you will see we have a menu here where you can see we have services, we have single service, we have works and we have team and we have team member. And below that we have a branded logo. You can replace this logo with your own logo and we have logo here as well. If we click on the services tab, you can see we open a new web page where people can visit, they can book any service that they want. You can add or remove any service. I'll show you how you can do it. But in this video, we are going to create exact same website. All you have to do is just make some changes on this website and create your own website according to your services that you provide on your saloon or your barber shop. If you go to single service, here you can see you can add any single service that is famous on your saloon. In this example, we have buzz cut. You can see we have some images here for this buzz cut. And below that, you can see we have book appointment section where people come to your website, they can choose a barber. Once they choose the barber, they can choose a date. They can choose a time. And finally, they have to type their name, phone number and email. Then they can book this buzz cut service from your website, right? How cool it is. If you go to works area, here you can see we have some nice looking portfolio section right here where you can display your beautiful work on your website so that people come to your website and they can see how do you work in your saloon. I mean you can display anything on your works area. And below that you can see we have the contact information. Uh, we have email ID and your address, your saloon address and your phone number and your logo. Below you can add your social media pages here and just below that we have copyright section and if you keep scrolling down you can see we have map area as well. In this map you can add your saloon location so that your visitor can easily find your saloon or your barber shop. Okay, this is very useful. So if you go to teams page and here you can see we have the title and below that we have some barbers who work in this saloon. This is me actually I'm not working in saloon. Just for demonstration purposes I've added myself into this website. I'm not working as a barber on this website. Anyways, if you open any person here, any barber, you can see we have this beautiful barber page where you can see title, some description, and we have this experience section and we have award section and contact information about this barber. And you will see her number, her email, and her social media profiles over here. Below that, this barber can provide a washing head service and this barber also can provide buzz cut service and this would be a cost first your visitor has to select the service they can choose a date they can choose a time and finally they have to type their name phone number and email and then they can book this appointment how easy it is right let's go back if you go to team member here you can add any person of your choice right now we have added anna williams in the team's member page you can add any person here okay this is super cool let's go to the home page by clicking on this logo and now let's scroll down this is a home page and you can see we have some text here you can find the location by clicking over here and below that we have video section you can replace your own video with this video keep scrolling down you can see we have another section right here where you can display services of your saloon or your barber shop like washing hat royal shave so on and so forth right side you can see we have image and we have the price of the service we have some description about the service so on and so forth below that we have some creative images that you can display on your website about your work right keep scrolling down you can see we have barber section right here you can display as many barbers as you want in this section right now we are displaying only three barbers which is more than enough people can choose more barbers by going to the teams page and below that you can see we have the contact information 
about this saloon or this website and finally we have this map area here you can pin your exact location of your saloon so that people can easily find your saloon by using this map so this is the simple and easiest website that you can build in your leisure time you can see we have this button right here book appointment button if you click on that button you can see we have these services your visitor can choose any service from here they can choose military haircut and they can choose the barber and they can choose the date so on and so forth this is the exact same way that i've shown you guys so this is how this appointment booking website work all right guys so enough talking let's get started so in our part one we are going to get hosting and domain name hosting is a place where all your website file will be stored and domain name is your website name to start with our first part Let's click the link below of this video. It will take you to GoDaddy's website. Here you can choose your web hosting plan. I'm going to choose economy plan, which is more than enough to get started. Let's click on add to cart. And here you have to type in your domain name and then click on submit. You can see our domain is available. Now click on select and continue. Now select how many months you want to buy this web hosting. I'm going to choose 12 months. And now scroll down and then click on checkout. If you do not have account on GoDaddy's website, you can create an account by filling this form. Since I already have account on GoDaddy, I'm gonna click on sign in. So I'm going to log in with my existing account by typing my email and password and then click on sign in. Now type in your payment detail and click save. Now you can see my billing and payment information is already there because I'm an existing user of GoDaddy. If you do not see your billing information or payment information there, make sure you type in your billing and payment information and then complete your purchase. Now click on this option button of this pop-up window and then click on allow pop-up for cart.godaddy.com. In this pop-up window, you have to complete this payment. So once you place an order, then go to my account. If you do not know where is my account tab, you can simply go to your profile, this drop down button, and then you can click on my product. You will land on the same web page. Okay, so as you can see that we just bought a web hosting from GoDaddy. In our second part, we are going to install WordPress. To get started, let's scroll down. Now click on manage all alongside web hosting. Now click on this drop down button and click on setup. So now you have to select your domain. I'm going to select this domain that we just bought with this plan. So here you have to select your data center. I'm going to select Asia. Now click on yes, let's do it. Type your WordPress username and create your password and type your password once again and then click on next. So here you can create a branded email ID which look more professional. Here I'm going to type info at naughtykid.com and then click on finish. So this process can take few minutes. Updating domain, applying things, onboarding completed successfully. Now click on go to the dashboard. So I'm going to click on no, I don't want to participate and then click on confirm. So guys, we have successfully installed a WordPress. To access your WordPress dashboard, simply click on admin. Scroll down and click on use default WordPress and then click on yes, I'm sure and then click on no thanks. I just want to exit. All right, guys. So this is our WordPress dashboard. If you hover your mouse over here and then right click and open up a new tab. And this is your WordPress website looks like by default. Let's close these tabs. In our third part, we are going to install free SSL certificate. If you hover your mouse over here on this lock, you will see connection is not secure, which means information shared between your website and your visitor will not be secure. To secure your website, you have to install a SSL certificate. So guys, there are two types of SSL certificate that you will learn on this video. I'll tell you everything about those SSL certificate, how to install them and what are the difference between them. First, we are going to install a flexible SSL certificate and later I'll show you how to install a full inscription mode SSL certificate. 
So let's get started and let's install a flexible SSL certificate. To install SSL certificate, we have to create a Cloudflare account. So let's go ahead and open up a new tab. Let's open google.com and perform a Google search for Cloudflare and open up this website, cloudflare.com. So on this website, you have to create an account. Let's go ahead, click on sign up. Here type your email and type your password and then click on create account. So now we have to activate our Cloudflare account. Cloudflare has sent us a verification email at our email address. Let's go ahead, open up your mailbox. So as you can see that Cloudflare has sent us a verification email. Let's open up this email and now let's verify by clicking on this link. So as you can see that our email address is now verified, which means our Cloudflare account is activated. Let's click on continue to dashboard. Let's close these tabs. Now we can add our website on this Cloudflare account. To add a site, you can click over here or you can click over here. All right. So in my case, I will not add my domain name on this Cloudflare account. Basically, I'll keep all my domains in one Cloudflare account. Let me show you what I mean by that. So let me quickly log out to this account. So now let me quickly log in into my official Cloudflare account. So now I'm inside my official Cloudflare account. So these are my domain name and I'm going to add a brand new domain to this Cloudflare account. To do that, let's go ahead, click on add site and then simply type your domain name and then click on add site. So on this page, you have to select your plan. Let's scroll down and select free plan and then click on continue. Now Cloudflare is scanning a DNS record of this domain name. Now Cloudflare has scanned all the DNS record. Now simply scroll down and then click on continue. So on this page, Cloudflare is simply telling us that you have to remove your name server from your domain name. My domain name is registered with GoDaddy. So I have to remove GoDaddy's name server from my domain name and I have to add Cloudflare name server into my domain name. Simply, we have to replace these name server, right? If you don't get it, let me show you what I mean by that. Let's simply copy a name server, first one, and let's go to your domain registrar. In my case, this is a GoDaddy. So once you log in into your GoDaddy account, you have to go to my product. Under the domains section, select your domain and then click on manage DNS and then scroll down. You will see a section called name servers. Simply click on change and then click on enter my own name server and type your name server over here. And let's copy the second one from Cloudflare. Let's go back to GoDaddy and paste the second name server. Once you do that, simply click on save and select this option and then click on continue. So we are done here. Let's go back to Cloudflare, scroll down and then click on done check name server. So on this page, let's click on get started. Now click on save. Now you have to turn this on. Always use HTTPS hypertext transfer protocol and then click on save. Now click on save once again. One more time, click on save. And finally click on finish. Now we have successfully installed a flexible SSL certificate on our domain name. So let's go ahead and check it out. Let's go to your website and type HTTPS comma double slash and enter. If you see a warning like this, which means SSL certificate is not reflecting on your domain name. This is happening just because of caching. When your computer remove all the caching automatically, you will see SSL certificate working on your domain name. It may take up to 24 hours. Sometime it reflects instantly. However, you may have to wait for a couple of hours or a couple of minutes, but you have to keep checking your domain name time to time. Let's go back and open our website without SSL certificate. So now we have to install a free plugin on our website. Let's go to plugins and then click on add new 
and search plugin simple SSL and install this plugin really simple SSL click on install now and then click on activate now click on go ahead activate SSL certificate so before we proceed with our next step let me tell you one thing your domain name has SSL certificate in it I'm telling you this why because Cloudflare telling us your site is protected with Cloudflare okay to prove that let me open up this domain name with VPN let's copy a domain name let me use a VPN and let's open your domain name using HTTPS all right guys as you can see connection is secure which means your domain name has a SSL certificate so this is a flexible SSL certificate let me stop VPN let's refresh the page and now you can see that connection is not secure this is happening just because of caching so don't worry about it wait for up to 24 hours let's open up this domain name without SSL certificate let's remove this S let's go to your Cloudflare account all right guys now we are going to install a full inscription mode SSL certificate but before that let's look at the difference between flexible and full inscription mode flexible SSL certificate scales the sensitive information between user and your website not a server and the contrary full inscription mode scales the sensitive information between user and your website plus between a server so now let me show you how you can install a full inscription mode SSL certificate first of all let's go to your Cloudflare account and now click on SSL slash TLS let's click on this lock all right as you can see that if flexible selected information or connection secure between visitor and Cloudflare if you go with full inscription mode end-to-end -end inscription mode that means your server will be secure as well so let's go ahead and select full inscription mode and now click on origin server and then click on create certificate and then scroll down you can see that this certificate is valid maximum 15 years after 15 years you can renew this SSL certificate but I think this is enough with a free plan now simply click on create now we have to copy and paste these text in our web hosting let me show you how you can do that let's simply click on click to copy your text will be copied let's go to cpanel web hosting and let's go to your account let's go to my account and let's scroll down let's go to your hosting panel let's click on manage alongside with web hosting so now we are inside the hosting panel so i'm using a godaddy's cpanel hosting let's go ahead open up a cpanel dashboard all right guys so now we are inside a godaddy's cpanel web hosting let's scroll down and now click on ssl slash tls under the security section so here now click on manage ssl sites now scroll down here we have to paste our ctr but before that let's select your domain and now paste your certificate over here let's go back here let's copy your origin certificate let's go back to your hosting and paste your certificate just like that scroll down here we have to paste a private key text let's go back to cloudflare let's copy a private key text let's go back to your hosting and paste it over here and now scroll down so now we need a authority bundle to get that go to the description box of this video and click on the authority bundle link and you will land on this website here simply scroll down and now click on cloudflare origin ca rsa roots open this up and copy this authority bundle and let's go back to your hosting and paste your authority bundle over here and simply click on install certificate and then click ok all right 
so our SSL certificate. Alright guys, now we have successfully installed a full inscription mode SSL certificate on our website. Let's go back to your website and let's log in once again. So you still see this message, don't worry, just wait for a couple of hours, your problem will be fixed. So guys, I'll see you when my SSL certificate reflects on my domain name. One hour later. So guys, as you can see that my full inscription mode SSL certificate now reflecting on my domain name as well. So as you can see that there is no VPN. If I refresh the page, you can see that SSL certificate still there. For me, it took almost one hour to reflect on my domain name. In your case, it could work any time between 24 hours. You just have to wait for it. All right, now let's move with the next part of this video. In this part, I'm going to show you guys how to install a premium theme and premium plugins that allow you to turn your simple website into appointment booking website for barbers or for your saloon. And you may have noticed that I've changed my domain name for some reason, but it doesn't really matter. You can stick with your own domain that you bought from GoDaddy. To install a premium theme and plugin, first we have to download that theme and plugin. To do it, let's open a new tab and type this URL and press enter. And you will land on this website, crocoblock.com. On this website, you will get advanced jet plugins for Elementor and Glutenberg editor. If you hover your mouse over products, you will see this website have different types of plugin for different types of functionalities. To get all of these at once, just click on pricing and you will see several plans. Now you have to select one of the plan according to your requirement. If you want to build a single website, you can go with this plan. If you want unlimited website for one year, you can go with this plan. And if you want unlimited website for lifetime, you can go with this plan. And this would be one time payment guys. Okay, so if you are serious about your business, I highly recommend you to go with this plan, right? To buy any plan, simply click on buy now button and complete your payment process and you are good to go. Since I already have the membership of CrocoBlock, I'm going to close this tab. I'm not going to buy it again. Now I'm going to log in into my CrocoBlock account. To do it, I'm going to click on sign in. Just type your username and password and click on login. All right. So this is the section where you can download your plugins. If you scroll down, you will see we have the extra section here. You can download your theme and CrocoBlock wizard and extra plugins. Okay. And if you scroll up, you will see the purchase detail if you click on view detail you will see your license key we will need license key later on but right now just scroll down and download this theme to do it just click on download and download your theme next you have to download this coco block wizard plugin to do it just click on download and download this coco block wizard as well once you have those two things theme and plugin Let's come back to the dashboard of your site and now we are going to install theme to do it. Hover your mouse over appearance and then click on themes. Let's go ahead click on add new, click on upload theme and drag and drop your theme file over here that you just download from CrocoBlock. So this is the theme. I'm going to drag and drop my theme file. Just click on install now and then click on activate. Once you activate your theme. Now it's time to install a plugin. Let's have your mouse over plugins and then click on add new. Click on upload plugin. In the same way, you can upload your plugin file over here. Just drag and drop your plugin file. And then click on install now and then activate. Once you activate your Croco block wizard, then click on let's go. Now here you have to type your license key. In order to find your license key, let's come back to Croco block account. Scroll up under the purchase detail section. Let's go ahead, click on view detail. And this is your license key. Just copy your license key. And let's go back to your website and paste your license key over here. And then click on get started. Now choose first option, full Croco block installation. And then click on install. Now choose first theme and then click on install. Now select second option, child theme and then click on continue. Now you will see two tabs, dynamic templates and design templates. Make sure you are inside the dynamic templates. Here, just install this template, cut cloud. Let's go ahead, click on start installation. 
Make sure all the plugins should be selected. Just click on continue. Now choose first option and then click on continue. Now it will import post, authors, media, terms and custom database tables. So it may take some time. So I'm gonna speed this video up and I'll come back once it's done. Alright, so you can see we have successfully imported the content. Let's go ahead and click on continue. Again, this process may take few minutes. So I'm gonna speed this video up. Alright, you all set. Let's go ahead and click on dashboard. Now just update your plugin database by clicking on start update. Click on start update. Alright, now let's hover your mouse over here and let's click on view site, open link in a new tab. Alright guys, so this is the appointment booking website for your saloon or your services that you provide in your saloon. This is a barber shop. You can see this is the branded logo here. You can replace this logo with your own logo. So this is kind of website we have here, you can see. Okay. So all these things you will see here, this is a dummy content. Okay. Alright, so in the next part of this video guys, I'm going to show you how you can customize this website so that you can replace each and every item of this website according to your services. Okay. So in your saloon, you may not provide something like hat wash or buzz cut or baby haircut. If you don't provide these services, you can remove them. I'll show you how you can do it. I'll show you how to change the price each and everything. I'll show you how you can uh, change from this website. First of all, let's come back to the dashboard of your site. Let's go ahead, change few settings of your WordPress site. Let's hover your mouse over settings, click on general here. First thing first, change your site title. You can type your website name over here. Scroll down. Here you can select your time zone. I am from India. I'm going to select my time zone. And then click on save changes. And if you want to allow your customer to create an account on your website, make sure you check this option and then click on save changes. Keep in mind that. Once you do it, now click on permalinks under your settings. Make sure post name should be selected. If it's not, go ahead select post name and then click on save changes. So whenever you buy a premium quality theme or plugin, you will get this option where you can import all the dummy contents, all the features, all the functionality directly inside your fresh website. So this is why we buy a premium theme and premium plugins. Okay. Without this feature, you have to start from scratch. So this is the quickest and easiest way to build your appointment booking website. So now let's take a look at how to change each and every item from your website. If you click over here, services, you can see this website provide different types of services, hat wash, buzz cut, baby haircut, so on and so forth. If you don't like any of these services, you can remove it. But before we do it, let's take a look at the team section. If you go here, you can see we have different types of team members or you can say your saloon member. If your visitor open any one of them, your visitor can read the information about this barber or this person, something like how many experience he has, how many awards he get and his contact number and his email ID. And of course, his social media accounts will be present on your website as well. And if you scroll down, you can see we have book appointment section. In this section, your visitor can choose any service that he want and then they can select date, time, month. And finally, they have to type their name, their phone number and email and then they can book their appointment. How simple is it, right? So we have services section and we have the team section. If you click over here, team member, you can see we have only one team member available here. You can replace her with your own team member. Okay. Next, we have single service. Here, you can see in the single service, we have the buzz cut. You can replace this single service with your own service. 
okay you can see we have price we have one hour timing and we have equipment sharp blade everything about this procedure you can see here over here scroll down you can see we have book appointment in the service section you can choose a barber who can provide this bus car service in the same way your visitor has to select a date time and then he has to type their name phone number email then they can book for this bus cut service okay so now i'm gonna add one service over here so that you can understand how to add a service on your website to do it let's come back to the dashboard of your website hover your mouse over services and then click on add new so under the title i'm gonna type military haircut and below i'm gonna type some description under the price slot type your price for the service I'm gonna type $20. You can change currency anytime from your website settings. Scroll down. And next, I'm gonna upload a media. Go to media library. Military haircut. I don't have any photo over here. You can choose anyone or you can upload a new photo. Let's go ahead, choose this photo. Click on choose media. Timing would be one hour. Equipment would be sharp blade. Description. I'm gonna copy and paste some dummy text. You can type your own description and type your second description as well and this is just a dummy text and about procedure i'm gonna paste the same text and let's go to right side let's click on services let's open feature image select feature image i'm gonna select the same image click on set feature image below that you have to select the team member that can provide this service below that you have to select a team member who can provide this service i'm gonna type this person only this person can provide this military haircut and let's go ahead click on permalinks you can change your slug if you want i'm happy with this once you're happy with your changes click on publish click on publish once again let's go ahead click on view post so you can see this is our new service we just added this service over here people will come to your website and then they can book this service directly from your website how easy it is right now I'm going to show you how you can add a team member. To do it, let's go to your dashboard. Let's hover your mouse over teams and then click on add new. Type the title. I'm going to type in Rana Singh. Type the description. Price slot. I'm going to leave it blank. Position. I'm going to type in top barber. I'm going to upload a media. Click on upload file. I'm going to drag and drop this photo and click on choose media scroll down now type excerpt below you can add awards click on add item type the name of the award and below type the name of the nominated add one more item again i'm gonna type the name and then type nominated name scroll down you can add as many awards as you want next thing i'm gonna add experience click on add item i'm gonna type the name of the experience and the date again i'm gonna add one more item and just type the name and date of your barber experience okay okay next i'm gonna type a phone number over here then i'm gonna type in the email over here below you can type in your instagram username and you can type in your facebook page url below you can upload a thumbnail let's click on choose media i'm gonna select choose media and finally come to the right side click on teams click on set featured image select the same image click on set featured image and now scroll down you can select the services that this person can provide buzz cut head wash and you can add as many services as you want that you have created on your website okay once you do it click on publish hit publish again let's view post all right so this is how you can create a team member on your website you can see we have experience we have award we have the contact information and scroll down you can see we have book appointment section as well we can see this person can provide a washing head service birth care service and this is the price you can see here for this service that this person can provide okay now if you go to team section you can see we have different types of team member over here but right now you can see we have only six members right here but if you go to the dashboard of your website and hover your mouse over teams and click on teams you can see we have these seven members total here one two three four five six seven but we are not seeing more than six members if you want to see more members in your team section 
all you have to do just click on edit with elementor and then click on archive teams now hover your mouse over here and click on this pencil icon to edit this section here you can change how many columns you want to appear on your website and if you scroll down you can see post number just change it to 7 if you scroll down you can see now we have this member also available on your website so in the same way you can add as many team members on your website right and this is how you can display as many members on your website once you're happy with these changes don't forget to click on update all right so if you want to remove any of this member or you want to remove all of them all you have to do just come back to the dashboard of your website and hover your mouse over teams and then click on teams here you can remove any member you want if you want to remove this andrew wolf just click on trash button this member will be removed from your website let's come back to this page and let's close this one exit to dashboard just view this post by clicking over here and now you can see we have only six member left we remove one member from this team section let's go back to the website home page and now click on team once again so if you want to change any of this section all you have to do is let's say you want to change this text just click on edit with elementor archive teams and if you want to remove this text or want to change this text just highlight that text or you can come over here and type in your own text something like that right and you can change this text as well just highlight that text or you can come over here you can delete this text if you want or you can delete the entire section just right click delete the section will be deleted okay in the same way you can delete any section you want right so if you want to add uh, different types of sections all you can do just scroll down click on this plus icon and here you can select the structure and then click on plus button scroll down and you can add any kind of features from your elementor page builder and then click on drag and drop the section will be appear on your website okay so i'm gonna delete this one once you're happy with your changes don't forget to click on update all right let's close the elementor page builder let's have your mouse over here click on visit site in the same way you can delete any service from your website if you go to services here you can see we have one two three four eight services you can remove any service by going to services click on service here you can see we have one two three four five six seven eight and nine services in the same way you can increase the number of the services you want to appear on your website how you mouse over edit with elementor click on archive services here just click on this pencil icon you can increase how many services you want to appear on your website there you go all right you can go with three column that would be good i think once you're happy with the changes don't forget to click on update again let's exit to dashboard if you want to remove any service just go to services and click on services and here you can remove any service that you want by clicking on trash button and your service will be removed from your website let's go to services and you can see we just removed that service so now you have learned how to add a barber and how to add a services and you also learn how to remove a dummy service and dummy barber from your website now let's come back to the dashboard by clicking over here and i'm going to show you guys how you can add works if you go to this works section you can edit this section as well by clicking on edit with elementor so guys here you can click on this pencil icon you can see we have this section right here this is a portfolio section you can add one more section by clicking over here select this structure click on this plus button and search for portfolio and drag and drop this portfolio over here this is the exact same portfolio that you're seeing over here okay here you can upload your own photos of your barbers okay or any kind of photos you can upload over here so i'm gonna delete this section by clicking over here so this is how you can change this section you can change this a uh, title you can change this text editor text as well each and every item you can change from here right let's go ahead exit to dashboard click on leave 
let's go to the dashboard visit your site in the same way you can change your single service now i'm going to show you guys how to edit this menu and this logo first of all let me show you how to change this logo hover your mouse over edit with elementor and then click on header in the header section you can see we have this pencil icon when you hover your mouse over this logo you will see this pencil icon just click on that here you can change your logo you can upload your logo file over here and then you can replace this logo with your own logo make sure you add your logo in logo image and retain a logo image okay once you do it your logo will be added and if you hover your mouse over here you can see we have this navigation menu section right here if you want to remove any section or you want to add more section into this menu all you have to do just close this element or page builder first let's hover your mouse over appearance and then click on menus so here you can see we have main menu right here in the main menu we have services we have single service we have work and team and we have team members and all this is a custom links you can see okay if you want to remove any of them just go here and click on remove and that item will be removed from your menu if you want to add more items all you have to do for example you want to add custom links just click on the custom links type your custom link over here for example this is the custom link copy here type your custom link over here and type your link text this would be team member copy once you do it click on add to menu and you can adjust this new item anywhere you want you can create sub menu just dragging and dropping under any of this uh, custom link or any of these item in this way you can create a sub menu right once you're happy with your changes don't forget to click on save menu now let's visit your site have your mouse over here click on visit site and now you can see we have the navigation menu right here we have sub menu if you click on team member copy you can see custom team member over here we have the same team member item over here okay so this is how you can edit your navigation menu let's go to home page by clicking on logo and now if you want to replace this logo and background image all you have to do just click on edit with elementor now hover your mouse over this logo click on this pencil icon you can see here you can replace this logo with your own logo let's exit to dashboard let's go to the dashboard let's visit your site so guys this is how you can edit any section of your website it's pretty straightforward i'm not gonna waste your time my point to making this video guys to show you how you can create your own appointment booking website for your saloon okay if you want to learn more about customization i already made a separate video for that you can find that video link in the description box of this video however if you find any kind of difficulty to create this website Feel free to ask me anything in the comment section below. I'll definitely answer your questions as quickly as possible. And finally, I just want to say, just subscribe to this channel because I will create more videos about this CrocoBlock plugins and all its features. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press that notification bell icon. So with that, whenever I create more videos on CrocoBlock plugins, you will get notified. So that being said, goodbye and I'll catch you guys next time.